just woke up. Woke up, um, washed myself up, fixed myself up, and here I am. By the way, I am getting sick again. <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm getting a cold, so got that going for me. A couple of updates um, that nobody asked for. <laughs> the the face wash regimen that I started um, I do have a tiny bit of concealer on but my skin has been looking a lot better <laughs> um, in general I think it just looks better the other update uh, that nobody asked for is that um, I stopped plucking my eyebrows a long time ago and you know I've always kind of liked the shape of them and look you can see tons of tons of little strays here and here but you know what I don't hate it. I don't hate it and it's made my life a lot easier in some capacity. So we're going with this for now. So I do have mascara on and I did run with a pencil. But otherwise I don't. Lip liner. Little simple makeup today. Cause I'm feeling like crap again. Um, so Anyone who's noticed, I've been putting lots of like s singing snippets because I just didn't feel like talking. <laughs> I kind of don't feel like talking right now. I'm just doing this because, you know, like it's been a while and I didn't want it to seem like I, I'm just here. I'm a singer now. I'm a singer because I don't want to be a singer. I just like to sing. Um, that's, that's the thing I want to talk about. See, I'm just tired. <laughs> I've had a bit of insomnia lately. Uh, that's why I wrote a song and recorded a little and recorded a little tune for it. Um, and it's called The Day Before Work. The song is about insomnia. And I've actually I've written a few songs. I don't know why. Again, I'm not trying to be a singer or anything. Um, but then again, if somebody likes, you know, my my writing then you know, it's always nice to hear that. And if you're inspired or something based off of something that I did, like, I'd love to hear about that too. I love that stuff because um, I'm so impressed by other people all the time. And I would just love to, for someone else to be impressed by me. And I like to impress myself. Um, even when it's small things, I hope that, you know, if you're like me, you can find joy in something like that. You could just find a thing that you like to do and find ways to challenge yourself in that thing if you're not comfortable in challenging yourself in other ways just yet. You know, it's a stepping stone. Um, I'm not a therapist or anything. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, planning to see one this year because and this is me holding myself accountable to that because I meant to do it last year. And um, just having to get Donovan into school and things like that Last year was extremely stressful, so I was not in a great headspace for a chunk of time because I wasn't in any headspace. It was I wasn't thinking about myself, and I was very frustrated at just the things I had to deal with. So now that I'm able to think about myself a little bit, <laughs> um, I'm feeling so much better, but I have to talk to somebody because if I ever crash again, I want to know how to navigate that that's that's it and every, I think anyone could benefit from something like that <sighs> so that's it I just wanted to talk about all that stuff because everyone goes through everyone goes through <laughs> real stuff and everyone goes through imagined stuff and everyone goes through a combination of the two and and mental health is like it's no joke you do have to take care of yourself um, again, especially if you have someone else that you have to take care of. Um, in general, though, you have to take care of yourself. Um, I have a song about that as well. See, like, I'm really just been in my head, but in a good way. <laughs> um, it's been a long time, and I, I, I wrote that somewhere else, too. It's been a long time since I've been here because... You just go through stuff sometimes and sometimes you don't recognize when it's happening sometimes you do recognize when it's happening but there's you feel like there's nothing you can do about it or you're just so stuck in that 
But um, I don't know if you can tell. I mean, I know I look tired and and I'm feeling sick, so you can tell that I'm a little bit off. But I feel like I just, in general, look. <laughs> sounds funny to say healthier when I'm feeling sick, but I feel like I look healthier. Somehow, I feel like my hair's been looking shinier. That that kind of thing. I feel like my eyes have been looking clearer. My you know, my eyebrow hair, my lashes, just everything. I don't know if anyone's gone through like just stress and depression and anxiety all at once for in, in a prolonged period of time that even when it wasn't like severe, it was just like there because you were just dealing with things. Sometimes it affects, you know, other parts of your body. <laughs> it affects your nails, you know, it'll affect your skin. It'll, you just will look uh, they say, they say, nobody uses the word sallow anymore. Things like that. Well, this time I feel like I have not made a blunder. I'm really enjoying making YouTube videos. Um, I just, in, at times, don't feel like making videos, and I'd rather just sing something or just put something out there and be like, this, this is what I, this is what I did. I actually wrote something this time, so I'm not rambling. It's like, hey, boom, 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 boom. That's my version of that. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about before I forget, and then I'm going to go, um, because I actually, I did not mean to ramble this long, um, was that the parodies, I, I have them all in my head. I've planned out quite a few things for the parody channel. I just have to get to doing it because it requires wigs and a little more setup than me just sitting here. I mean, I'm wearing what I'm gonna wear today. You know, Throat Punch University, Philip DeFranco. Nice, this is a nice shirt. It's very nice, soft. Um, I will say because, you know, for honesty's sake, my husband's shirt, um, it was a little crooked. Something about it was like the sewing was a little crooked and it didn't fit him quite right. But he did contact them. They said, don't worry about it. Keep it and sent us a new one. So for anyone who was wondering, Philip DeFranco's team, that's what happened when we ordered our t-shirts. Okay, I just threw that in there. Why not? Because I ramble. <laughs> but the parodies will be coming. Um, for anyone who might actually be interested, um, I have a few characters and I have reasons for each character and it's going to be just like the Mad M stuff. It's going to be parody, but it's not going to be so outlandish. It's going to just be like a lot of makeup on my face type of stuff. Nothing like if I do any, uh, crazy things, they'll be pretty tame. There'll be things that I would actually want to try and I'm just using the parody to do so. Um, that's it. I'm gonna do like real life stuff. Nothing. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I hope that everyone has it. See, I like the way I look today. This is important to say to yourself sometimes. And there's a difference between confidence and conceit. I don't know the exact <clears throat> way to define that difference. I'm sure somebody out there can do it better than I could. If I could write after a while I'd probably figure it out maybe but um I'm feeling confident <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I think it's really nice to do that every once in a while it's it doesn't happen all the time just take advantage of it I'm feeling confident I like the way I look and I wanted to get on camera so there I am and um, I'm gonna put out another song today so hopefully it makes somebody smile or they share it with somebody because they thought it was cute. You know, that's it. I'm not trying to be a singer. You can tell. I'm not trying that hard. I just really like what I wrote. Bye.